bike packing. Good morning. Last week I put out a video on my 2021 bike packing gear list setup. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you want to see that. And I received a number of comments and messages from folks who thought it would have been nice to see how I actually pack the gear on the bike. So I am nothing but a populist. And on today's video, I'll be showing how I pack all my gear on my bike. Uh, between my seat post bag, my frame bag, my front roll bag, and the top tube bag, I've got about 35, 40 liters of storage. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So I'll start with my seat post bag, which is a porcelain rocket, uh, Mr. Fusion 2, it's the 15 liter version. I like to keep my sleep system and my tent in the back of this, so a lot of uh, the more heavier dense items. So. Now you would think that you wouldn't be able to get much more than a sleeping bag in here, but uh, boy you're sure wrong, you can uh, really compress down this down sleeping bag. And here's how to do it. As you can see, sleeping bag gets in there pretty nicely, and uh, once I put more stuff in it, it'll compress even more. I've got my MSR Hubba Hubba tent. It looks pretty bulky, but once you take the tent poles out, which I like to keep in the frame bag, um, it compresses down. So I've got the ground sheet. Really stuff it in there is to try to stick it down the sides as much as you can. Tent fly. And the tent. I'll also bring along the cover for the tent as well, um, just in case it rains, so I can kind of provide a layer of separation between my down sleeping bag and my tent and any other stuff I keep in there that might get wet. Uh, sleeping mat. It's helpful if you try to get as much air out of this uh, before you try to put it in. Normally this is supposed to be rolled up into thirds, but I find if you uh, roll it into quarters, it's easier to fit in. Down jacket. Look at the colors on this thing. This one was on sale. All the other colors that were available this version were regular price, but I don't know why this one was on sale. Probably because it's too cool. Towel. And I often bring a pair of uh, snowboard gloves, as I mentioned, because I run cold. As you can see, I fit that whole sleeping system and the down jacket and the towel into this 15 liter bag. Give it a couple rollovers and she's waterproof on my front roll I hold a 10 liter dry bag this is made by sea line gear it's the 10 liter Baja I usually keep my rain gear and my clothes and uh, I like to keep food in here as well, so food that I would cook at camp at night that I don't necessarily need to access during the day. Camp pants, cycling shirt, camp shirt, a couple pairs of socks, rain gear. You can see the clothes take up about half the space, and then I would just fill the rest up with food. Um, but I'm not gonna do that for this video. I like to keep most of the heavier items that I have um, to a lower center of gravity. So I keep all that stuff in my frame bag. Um, I ride an extra large bike, so I'm fortunate enough to uh, have a lot of space to work with. So my frame bag is a double decker frame bag. There is a piece of Velcro on the inside holding it together, so I could make that into one big compartment if I wanted to, but never had a need to do that. And as I mentioned earlier, keep the uh, frame poles, or sorry, I keep the tent poles on the inside there. I also keep my water bladder in there as well, 
and then uh, this hose for it, I can uh, actually feed it through the front of the frame bag and stuff it into my water bottle holder. Or sometimes I'll just leave it in here as well. Ultralight stuff sack that I would use to carry any groceries that I need at the end of the day when I don't have room. Fits up nice there in the front. Got my pot and a cup on the inside. And then the inside of that I just put my stove, lighter, and the letterman in there. And the pot just fits nicely in the top of the frame bag. And so does the, uh, the gas as well. The repair kit, everything that you might need. And this just rolls up. It fits nicely in the bottom of the frame bag. Spare tube also goes in there as well. My front roll system also came with this three liter dry bag that uh, straps to the front. So I like to keep my bear spray in there, uh, charging devices, kind of any kind of random items that I can't seem to fit anywhere else, as well as some snacks. Got some zap straps or zip ties. Spare spokes. Spork. Spare riding gloves. Sunscreen. And then uh, bear spray as well. Right on top, so it's accessible. This is my fanny pack I got at a thrift store. Herschel, good company. And it's the Seattle Mariners, who are my favorite squadron. And I plan on storing my camera equipment in there. Though I have yet to completely test it out. Finally, I've got this. Blackburn outpost bag. I don't really like the zippers aren't great on it and it doesn't bolt on directly well to my bag but good spot to keep uh, additional snacks as well. And also for hydration I've got this little water bottle mounted here on the bottom of my down tube and then this homemade feed bag that I made that can fit up to a one liter Nalgene bottle. All right my fellow cycle enthusiasts you asked for it you got it that is how I pack my gear onto my bike, and I'll catch you in the next video.